Hello, welcome to another edition of the Ohio guys. We are here on location in Colossal Con in Sandusky, Ohio, and I'm here with Erica Schroeder. How, how are you today? This e I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm having an amazing time at Colossal Con. I had a great panel, and I'm doing a screening uh, later on this evening. The fans have been awesome. Um, Tons of events. I just saw uh, the Star Trek uh, continues second episode. It was amazing. So I'm having fun here with my buddy Naru over there. <laughs> yes. Uh, what was it like to work in the industry today? Um, it's great. Things are changing. Um, New York stuff, for as far as uh, dubbing and stuff, is is uh, not happening as much there. So there's a lot more pre-lay pre -lay projects happening, which is exciting. Um, uh, I'm having a good time working. I've just started teaching and doing um, workshops for voicecoaches.com, coach, uh, voice which is an amazing um, international company that have remote stations all you know, at studios all across the United States. And I'm having an amazing time teaching. I, I'm loving it. Um, and I'm working on four shows right now. Um, but that's probably another question you're going to ask me. So maybe I should hand it back to you. Uh, what was it like to perform on Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Sonic? Um, all different experiences, all absolutely wonderful. Um, I can honestly say there is, I, I don't even, I can't even name a negative experience that I've had really in the voiceover industry in this business. I've been blessed to work with incredible people. Um, it was, as working on Sonic was more challenging, but I think the result was good, and so it was a good thing. I think it was because, uh, there were more people than normal in the uh, in the room, yeah. which is then you have more people giving you direction and you have more um, uh, more things going on. So um, it's it sometimes can work out poorly if people are telling you different things, but it sometimes can work out in your favor and you can um, get a more uh, a deeper, more dynamic performance. And I think that it worked out that way. Um, and I've, I've worked on Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! for years. I've had a blast. Um, I loved being Bianca. That, um, I just loved having the entrance all the time and running into Ash and, um, and putting him into various bodies of water. It's been a lot of fun. And um, I love working with Tom Wayland over at, at Duart. He's uh, awesome. Is that good? Was that good enough? Yep. Uh, <laughs> is there anything coming out soon that you can disclose to the public at this time? Um, the one thing that's coming out soon or that just came out that I can talk about is actually not anime related and not um, voiceover related, but we're going to have a screening tonight at Colossal Con at 6 o'clock of a series, uh, of a pilot of a television series, live action series called ZomCom that I, uh, that Jason Griffith of Sonic is in with me. It's just a crazy coincidence because he's also an on-camera voice actor. Um, I'm more of a... Uh, theater, Broadway type performer, and also do, you know, voiceovers, obviously, but um, I'm breaking into film and television and um, exploring that medium, and it's been exciting so far, um, and so anyhow, it's about a team of uh, ragtag uh, zombie hunters that are um, more humanitarian, and my character is a scientist, and her name is Jessica, and she's the leader of the pack. Um, and we're going to screen that tonight, and I'm very excited about it. And uh, it just premiered um, at the Black Warrior Film Festival, and it's going to have some a couple of screenings here and there that you might be able to Google. Um, Naru, what is the name of that Facebook section? www.facebook.com slash zomcom show. Look it up, people. And yes. And for our fans and our newer fans, is there a way to, uh, for them to get a hold of you, like on social media, like Twitter or Facebook? Or okay, that is a great question. Um, about two years ago, I opened up a Facebook page, um, a fan page dedicated to my voiceover career. There's some super, super sweet people on there that I'm interacting with. I try and get on there at least once a month. I'm sorry, once a week. I, tr I really try and get on, there, get on there at least once a week, and I'm probably on there more frequently than that. Um, but it's just Erica Schroeder um, on Facebook, and it's, I believe my picture right now is uh, Dark Magician Girl. So just look for Dark Magician Girl, and um, I try and answer questions. People ask questions about the industry and the business, and or about me, or, or they talk about themselves. You can plug your projects on there as long as they're decent. Um, and yeah, that's where you can get a hold of me. 
Yep. Thank you for tuning in to the Ohio Guys. I'm David. And I'm Erica. Uh, thank you for tuning in. See you next time.